Welcome, 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 one and all, to a special Sunday live edition of the Extra Point Show. You know who it is. It's your host, Mr. P.L. Coulter. But flank to me today. This has been, ladies and gentlemen, a year in the making. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give this guy his proper introduction. If you're from the north side of Nashville, you already know how I do. For my Texas people who always hear me talk about D, 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 Mr. D.L. Colta is in the house. Um, actually, the first ever radio show host. D, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we were doing first take back in the late 80s and early 90s, right? <laughs> hey, it was me and you before Skip and Shannon. I can tell you that. <laughs> it was literally me and you before Skip and Shannon. When it comes to, to people who are out of lost in sports, Yes, there was the Jordans. Yes, there was the Magic Johnsons. Yes, there was the 90s Cowboys. But this guy right here was was walking on his hands at two, jumping out of trees at four, ducking a basketball at 13. He could do all the sports. He could swim, do flips off into the pool. Um, I was his biggest fan, and the reason why I got into covering sports is because I was never good enough to make the teams. My brother was the Northside superstar. You can ask anybody who's going to check in today. They will vouch for me on that and i got to watch the game up close and see my brother do his thing so <laughs> hey, that's all me. right though for every michael jordan that was a ron Howard, that was a scotty pippen and then you <laughs> we did our thing <laughs> we did we and um and thank you d for allowing me to always get some run in the summertime because you would always be a captain <laughs> <laughs> and he would make sure his little brother got to eat too. So um, just to let you all know, there would be no P.O. Coulter. There would be no extra point if it was not for this man, Mr. Damian Lamar Coulter, a.k.a. D.L. So today is the P.L. and D.L. show. I am so fired up. Now, uh, shouts out to, uh, right, right, Michael said, who is this, your younger brother? What's up, D? Now. <laughs> and interesting before we get started. Hold on one second. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. You got me shook. Uh true story. Before we went on, D was looking so good, I went and grabbed my, my clippers to kind of <laughs> before the show. All right, so D, let's get to it. We got some bombshell news today for our hometown Tennessee Titans. Yes, Julio sir, Jones. we did. Julio Jones is now a Titan. To that, you say what? I say this. If Julio shut it down last year, I know he had an injury, but if he knew he wanted out and and that was it, you know what? We got a brand new Julio coming in with a brand new AJ Brown. Yes. Who's want to show you something? And you know what? Uh <laughs> Derek Henry. <laughs> Derrick Henry Vow, Tannehill, he's not going to say nothing. He's going to give you coach speech. But that right there, you know what? I just leave it to the defense because offensively, we're not going to skip a beat from the 32 points a game we averaged last year. I'm sorry, Diva. How many? The 32 points a game we averaged last year yes. without a Julio Jones. Now, you throw Julio and AJ opposite each other, I know we don't have a tight end. But don't get it twisted. Ferkser will get you a third down catch if he needs to. He will. He will. And he, will get you a, he will get you a third down catch if he needs to. And Derrick Henry will get the chains moving. Now, if we can get these other teams off the field on third down, you know what? Patrick Mahomes. Come on. 
Buffalo Bills. Come on. You know what? <laughs> Don't put a chalk by a name. Right. Right. Put a question right. mark by it. Because right. you got a thing coming. Right. The shout out coming. to our mother, AP Colton, is checking in. Uh, says that we look amazing. No, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> Living the good life, look, look like he's being sucker free. Now, D, this is the first thing that I saw in my mind when I saw the trade. You're a safety of the Baltimore Ravens. You're a safety of the Indianapolis Colts. You're the defensive coordinator for the Jacksonville Jaguars. What do you do? You bring in that safety down into the box to stop Derrick Henry, give him that eighth man, and leave your wide receivers with 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 uh, with no double team, or you gonna roll coverage to AJ Brown? You gonna roll coverage to to Julio Jones? Then who who mans the middle? I, I, I'm I, I'm seeing another 32 point per game outing from the Titans this year. My point exactly. That's why I say I've I've heard the I've heard the commentators say we need a tight end, right? But and, he, and we did, we did lose John o. Smith last year, and he was spectacular. He was, and I hate he's gone, but give me the guy. I don't need to catch on third and eight or whatever it is. If you give me that second down catch for six yards, now what are you going to do if you're a defensive coordinator? Right. You got A.J. Brown, right. you got Julio Jones, and you got right. Derrick Henry, and it's third and three and a half. Right. Not to mention the play fake right. with Tannehill. With Tannehill, Yes. Yes. Now, what, now you said something about the tight end position. Let's follow up on that. Ferkser was basically the second tight end last year. He moves into the starting role. Now, with the addition of Julio Jones, do you think that we need to do anything else to shore up the tight end position? I've been hearing and I've been listening, which I wouldn't be opposed to, I've I've heard everybody talk about Zach Ertz. Oh yeah, from the Eagles, and he's all but gone. Yeah, yeah. If he can, if he can talk the right money, and I know he had injuries or whatever, but he's not going to be required to do what he was doing in Philly, right? So. Right. You know what? I'll take him if the money's good. But you know me personally, I might be one in the in the few. But roll Ferks are out there, yeah. And I guarantee you, he's gonna surprise a lot of people. He is more reliable than people may may really understand. If you look back at last year's playoff run. We don't get there without some of the big plays that Ferkser made on some of those close games, those those field goal walk off games. Ferkser made a lot of huge plays in those games. He's gonna surprise a lot of people, and people don't consider him a a, a starting tight end in the league because he don't block, he don't do that. Go get you a grunt if you right. need somebody to block. Right, right. Go get you a grunt. Right. But, I'm perfectly fine if he walks out on the field with the first eleven. I'm not mad and at that's that. Just, and that's just my opinion. I'm and perfectly fine with it. He says you don't need a tight end if you keep converting on second down or have a, a third and short, which is true because you still have Josh uh, Reynolds that we picked up in the offseason. A.J. Brown can do the short game, the mid game, the long game. Julio Jones is going to command a double team. There will be some openings there. And they sleeping on Josh Reynolds. You think so? So you like Josh Reynolds? They sleeping on Josh Reynolds. I'm telling you. It ain't like I watched a bunch of Rams games. But But hell, you won your fantasy league about three years in a row. So surely you've kept tabs on them. I kept tabs on them. They sleeping (laughs) on Josh Reynolds. He ain't going to give you 100 catches, but he'll give you 50 clutch up uh, catches. That's true. That's He's true. He's going to give you 50 clutch catches to when – how we used to look back uh, – what's the guy just left? Uh, number 14. 
No, the, the small guy, number 14, that just left. Oh, yeah, 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 the deep threat. The deep threat. Nobody, nobody counted on him. Right. But, but how many But how many times did you, after the game was over, you be like, man, I can't believe dude caught that. Right. He won that he, – he basically won that game in Baltimore with some big catches. Uh, against Minnesota in, in week three, he won that game oh, with some big catches. Yes, sir. So, <laughs> I mean, don't sleep on Josh Reynolds. You know don't what I'm saying? Don't sleep on him. Now, 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 why I got you here, let me ask you this, because today's news trumps yesterday's news. The Titans signed a wrestler. Now, he is from the University of Michigan over this, over this one. <laughs> But he's never played in college before, D. Can, can you can you help me with this one? Wrap my mind around this one. He's never played a, a down of college football, but yet he's going to play offensive line for the Titans. What do you think about that? <laughs> oh, I was hoping I was hoping we weren't going to go there. I read that. Oh, and you know, I don't know who he knows. I don't know who he knows. Or, or what? He might have been good in high school. D. But everybody that just was don't good make no sense, school. right? That um, just don't make no. That that makes no sense at all. Now, now Shamika says that y'all have no sense at all. My conversation I had with my brother about that this morning. Um, yeah, man, the Julio news really trumps that because yesterday I was like, so wait a minute. You, we we whiff on Isaiah uh, Wilson last year at the offensive line position. He basically took nine million dollars and ran, blew that on strippers and drugs yeah. and, and a rap album. Yeah. All right, he got us for nine million. Now you bring in a guy off the street that hadn't even played. I'm sorry, they needed to do this Julio news today to get my mind off that. I, last time I checked, you get penalties for holding. <laughs> so what is he going to do? <laughs> what is Brandon's. he going to do to help the team? I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I'm sorry. And no, I, don't, I don't know if this is Amy. I don't know if this is Amy Adam Strunk's nephew or whoever, right. but this makes right. no sense at all. It, th this is a Tebow part two where he knows somebody who knows somebody who knows something about it. <laughs> oh, of course. That's exactly what it is. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. You are wrestling. Now, Mike said he's going to put some pads on the trial for the Eagles and people getting these jobs. I ain't mad at you, Mike. <laughs> Go for it. Right. And she, Man, I'm not mad. Right. He, so Shamika says he ain't played not one down. What is the purpose? Like, not like, one. <laughs> not one. His job is less than the guy who goes out there at the basketball games and wipe up the sweat when somebody falls. Right. Why do right. we need that? Right. Oh, now, I'm sick. Mama Coulter says that was a bonehead pick. Who the coach owe money to? Probably the owner. You owe me a favor, bro. <laughs> yeah. You owe yeah, that's exactly what that was. Well, shouts out to Marcus Stone. Oh, yes, sir. Sir. The special edition show, Julio, to the Tennessee Titans. We Super Bowl bound now. We're going to give you our instant reaction. Now, D, what are your expectations for this season now? We, we won the division last year. Went out in the first the My, first round of the wild card. Hey. Well, I'm going to tell you what, though. What everybody needs to do, go check that schedule. Yeah. It ain't nothing easy about it. Right. I and, and I'm not scratching Jacksonville. The Texans are the only two wins that I got guarantees besides. Right. Go check the schedule. Right. But if you're if you're a big boy squad and what you just brought Julio in. Right. And what them two can do on the outside with Derek. Right. 
I'm going to go back to what I said before the show started. Long as the defense can be formidable, stop this third down shenanigans, right. and we'll be right back. Okay, no, let's pin you down, D. Right back where? We'll be right back in Baltimore again. We're gonna be right back in the in the playoffs facing Baltimore again with their revenge game. And you already know how we do with revenge games. Right. We right. have to take them out. And it's the AFC, but the defense has to be formidable. Other than now, that, I'm not even worried about the offense. No, nah, the offense is going to do their thing. Now, Shamika says, if you can keep him healthy. On a scale of 1 to 10, D, how concerned are you about his health that he'll be able to play 17 regular season games in the playoffs? Um, it's got me nervous. Right. I can't, I, I can't even lie about that. I can't, I can't even lie. Uh... But on a scale of one to ten, honestly, I'm gonna say a six because yeah. if he actually gets hurt, it changes the whole dynamic. Right, it does. We don't have a Corey Davis to fall back on. Right, it, we you know I just raved about Josh Reynolds, but who's the next man up? Right. Batson. Right, when you lose a Batson and you lose some of those pieces, you Josh know, Reynolds will be best served as a slot I, receiver. I, I, I want to see what this rookie goal look like that we just drafted. You oh know, yeah, Fitzpatrick. If he, if he's some, yeah, Fitzpatrick. If he's somewhat about his business, which I'm hearing good things about. Right. Oh no, they gonna really have a problem. They All right, really so, have a problem. So let's move to the running game to Derrick Henry. You Derrick Henry now, and you've got two bona fide yes, Pro Bowl caliber receivers to flank you. You've got a solid offensive line and a quarterback that specializes in in play action and being efficient. Could this be the situation where we see the first ever back to back two thousand yard rusher? That's gonna be tough. <laughs> That's that that's gonna be tough. <laughs> well, for one, I don't think it'll happen. But now I think AJ is finna go from that eleven hundred yard receiver to that seventeen hundred yard receiver. But just because you brought in Julio, they not go let they not go let Derek do them in like that. Derek's go get his. He's gonna get his thousand yards, thirteen hundred yards. But AJ is gonna benefit. The league knows you got Julio Jones, and everybody's gonna be scared. You gonna try to exploit that. Right. Like they gonna forget right. about what AJ just done. Right. And both of them are the same. It ain't about Julio going deep. It ain't about AJ going deep. But that 15 yard slant for both, that's what's gonna do them in. Now yeah. that 15 yard slant go turn to a 30-yard game or whatever because this dude, this dude, this dude yards. Now your tongue's hanging out <laughs> then they went over top of you. So, I, man, I'm so, ex I'm so excited we pulled this off. Yes. And I really think Julio threw it in the tank because he knew he didn't want to be there. He was right. like, "No, I'm not. I'm not gonna risk nothing else. I'm. Gonna, I played these nine games. I'm gonna rest up. These guys, wherever I'm gonna go, 
I'm finna be the man. And but then, like I said, AJ just showed you. If you right. throw Julio 15 times, AJ's just he already told you I ain't finna be man. He know he gonna get his. Right. Can you picture you AJ Brown? The pressure. No, go the ahead. Pressure's go. gonna fall back on. The pressure's gonna fall back on Tannehill. It is, but I think he's a. I think that he's efficient enough to get it done. You, what I'm looking my chops at is AJ Brown exactly. went to the next level. He went to the next level last year, taking the the defense's top cornerback, top coverage. You can't do that in in 2021. This time, he doesn't have to always see the top corner. He doesn't always have to see the bracket coverage or the safety help. He's going. <laughs> this will be the first time in his career. Really, where he'll be in 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 that uh, in, in that favorable situation? Well, I I flip it back to you this way. Say I am a defensive coordinator, and I'm more scared of AJ Brown than I am of Julio. Are you willing to throw your third cornerback <laughs> on Julio and say, "Let's stop Henry and let's stop AJ"? Your third cornerback. Right. Right. That's why I'm loving this pickup. That's why I'm Me loving too. this pickup. And I'm sounding repetitive, but if this defense just stay formidable and cut out these third down shenanigans. Right. Because that's right what it there. is. I'm telling you. Now, um, Shamika brings up. Like point. I said, right out the gate. Oh yeah, no, it's gonna be it's gonna be trouble right out the gate. Arizona, Indianapolis, Seattle on the road. It, 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 we got Kansas City, New Orleans. It, I mean, it's a it's a tough slate. But Shanika, Shanika makes up a, a, a point that I want to touch on with you. She says, or whoever's calling plays. Do you think that uh, the loss of Arthur Smith is gonna hurt us this year? Maybe some. Uh, I'm not too familiar with Downing. They talked about what he did in o Oakland. With, and he sent, you know, what you call it, to the Pro Bowl or whatever it is. I ain't too familiar with him. But I'm pretty sure that – Vrabel is sitting right there like, hey, man, right. look at these stats. Right. Look what we did. And look at the film from last year. We we don't have to jump off the cliff. Right. All we got to do is drive around the edge. Right. So, right. so, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, if you find something we can do with this different person, with this different person, but what we do – Show what we can do. We was here, right. Henry, we was here, we was there. And like I said, man, long as Henry, long as Henry don't get hurt, man, I ain't even worried about the offense. And I know nah. we got a tough schedule and we're gonna be in it. Like I said, it's all about the deal. But now when you done threw Julio in the mix with AJ, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now, D, it make me want to go do something video game or something. You know, right. <laughs> now, the D, let me I ain't ask you no video game, and I don't know how long. Right, right. Now, we we got a question from the peanut gallery. Mike says, "Should Tannehill be a top five fantasy QB?" You know what? I throw it out there like this. Tannehill was my quarterback on my fantasy team last year, and I lost in the championship game. I just throw, I just leave it at that. Roll with Tannehill. You gonna be all right? I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to y'all them damn leagues you done won. <laughs> <laughs> Roll Tannehill, I'm telling you, I lost in the championship game by three points. Three points. 
But Tannehill right. was my quarterback, and a dude dropped him in week three, and I picked him up, and it was a wrap after that. Think about it. Had that Sunday night game not been in a blizzard, you would have won that league. Yes, it was a game that did me in, too. And we yeah, sat right there, win. shoulder to shoulder, and watched me. <laughs> Uh, oh right. my God. Okay, so so DY got you here. You're you're a baseball man, a basketball man at heart, through and through. You're rocking your Carolina blue. You 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 grew up on the hard tops. You you were in dunk contest in, in high school. Yes, you were, sir. You, you did all. Okay, you're a basketball guy. Let's talk a little basketball. Your Knicks are they yes, back sir. back? Are they back back? <laughs> Let's go. I'm not gonna say back back, but you know what? After this year, I was the one thing when the and it ain't about Porzingis that trade, but it was Tim Hardaway was included in. Right. If they still would have had Tim Hardaway with the team they had now and moved Barry to the three, they was missing the outside shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Randall came up small. You know what I'm saying? The moment was too big, big for him. But if you would have had Tim Hardaway still playing the two, you know what I'm saying? What's the day? Sunday? Yesterday would have been game seven. I would have put it that way. <laughs> but so I ain't going to say we back back. I ain't going to say we back back, but mm-hmm. I say we back enough to where if somebody is just gruntled enough, like a little to come to New York and join my boys. Oh, hell, a Bradley Bill. And I know he's 31 years old. All they need is some outside shoes. Mitchell Robinson got hurt. People don't even know who he is. He's a huge but part he of the was up and coming. Yeah. And all we need, all we need is some outside shooting. But what we pulled off right here, the attention we got. Mm-hmm. Now, some of these stars might be like, you know what? No, that was an afterthought. It ain't no afterthought no more. My boys is going to be York back. back. So I'm going to go right now. Right. Now, let me give you your Don't flowers about run upstairs. Don't make me run upstairs and throw my New York shirt on. <laughs> New York, New York. Now, a few months ago when the season kicked back up, the NBA season kicked back up, you said something in passing that turned out to be absolutely true. And when you said it, I just kind of looked at it like, well, I don't know about that, but you were right. And that was the Phoenix Suns. You said it when I was doing my NBA preview show, you chimed in and said, be on the lookout for the Phoenix Suns this year. This was months before they eliminated the defending champion Lakers. What was it that you saw with Phoenix that had you thinking this would be their year? And um, looks like we lost him for just a second. We'll try to get him back on. As a matter of fact, no, it's almost game time. So um, we want to thank everybody for checking out the special edition today. We will have DL, Damian Lamar Coulter, back on very, very soon. Um, Until then, enjoy your game seven. Luca gets it done. Well, at least I hope for the city of Dallas that Luca gets it done. My God. Until then, we will holler at y'all. Peace.